Mike working. Pork chops. I grew up with him. His growth got stunted. He was smoking cigarettes at eight years old, this kid. What kind of mic is this? What are we in, like, a third world country? What is this? Can you hear me? Hello? You hear me? How you doing? Oh, I almost got indicted on the way out here. But looking too good. No, oh, don't get lost in the lounge. Forget it. This was a mission. I think I got to have, like, in church when they when they put the thing around. They just put a couple dollars in there. If this trip... Took me two and a half hours to get out of here. My back's killing me. I'm looking for someone to walk on my back. We got any cute Asians? What's up? My friend goes, if you don't know what to say, just say, how you doing? Yeah. So anyway, I'm TikTok famous. I don't know if you guys know about that lifestyle. Yeah. You know, there's always someone who's got to like confess how they know nothing. I know nothing about TikTok. I just know people taking pictures with you. My son probably knows who you are. This is, right? Eh? Take a picture. You know what sucks about being TikTok famous? If you like Robert De Niro famous, people actually talk like before they come and bother you. And they're like, do you want to bother him? No, he's eating. But if you're TikTok famous, people just think you owe him something. They're just like, ah, 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 put you in headlocks and shit. <laughs> Yo, I got crazy stories, but I used to be in construction. I think I might have to go back. Anybody in construction here? We're in Suffolk County. What do you do? Look, 138. Which one's with that? Oh, man. Yeah, forget about it. I could go on for these. Go for me. Go for me. You got to borrow a ladder from the chief engineer, right? You guys don't. All you do is look at gauges, right? Are you a, a crane guy or you you, you work a. Oh, okay. Oh, my father was an operating engineer before uh, heavy equipment, big, big equipment. Anyway, it's pretty boring the story, right? So we'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. You get nice. You look like a gentleman. These guys got some racket. Forget about it. You know whose job sucks? The porta potty guy. No, who the fuck does that? You ever see how miserable they are? But they get they get so much respect on the job because nobody wants to fuck with them. They come with that hose. You see that hose in the morning? Shit all over it. Those guys are miserable. Yeah, but I have some crazy stories. I'll tell you a story. I want to tell you a little story about social media. So I'm like a predator, you know? I, I'm not like a regular social media guy. You know, I'm a predator in the sense that I'm looking to make money. I got into this to make money. I didn't get into it because I want to be like, just my face all over the place. I said, these guys are making money, I don't want any. So what I, you know what, you know what I'm saying. Well, well, I thought you said, no? Porky left it up there. Fucking Porky. Forget about it. Anyway, yeah, so, so long story short, I'm trying to make some money. So I had, like, all these weird people following me and stuff. Like, so I look into them, too. Like, someone follows me. I go in their page, and I see what they're about. So I had this one guy. He's always hit me up. Hey, what's up, Mom? How you doing? What's up? He's, like, torturing me, right? So one day I look at his profile. I see he's got Lamborghinis and Ferraris and all this fancy shit. So I'm thinking in my head, like, I get something out of this guy. You know what I mean? He's like, he likes me way too much, you know? So he called me Little Mo Mozzarella. This guy's name's Marty Cohen. The next day, he changes his name to Little Mo Matsuko. So now I'm like, all right, it's Little Mo Matsuko. So you guys get a little too much, you know? But whatever. I'm like, I'm like, he's got a ton of money. Who knows what this, what, what kind of relationship we can build? So one day I'm at work doing construction, and I get he messages me nine one one. You know, nine one something really important, right? So I'm like, what's up? He said, I need you, Mo. I need you. Can you call me? So I'm like, I don't know, man. You know, I'm like, what's up? He's like, no, I, I want to hire you for a gig. So I call him. So he answers, hi, Marty. I'm like, what's up, Marty? He's like, my nephew. Beautiful wife, beautiful life. No little mo. He's getting married. I need you to come to the wedding. So I'm like, Think in my head, how much can I get out of him, right? So I don't want to shoot first. I said, let him shoot a number. I said, what kind of number are we talking? He goes, don't worry about it. I take care of you. He says, Marty, when's the wedding? He goes, the wedding's tonight at 7. It's 4.30. I'm in construction clothes. I said, Marty, you know, like, I'm not going to get a suit or nothing. If you want me to come, I'm coming when way I'm dressed. I got to search the tequila in the car. I'll throw that on. He goes, don't worry, just come. So I said, what kind of number are we talking? He goes, I take care of you. I said, listen, I'm going to give you my Zell information, and you sell me. Let me see what you're working with, and we'll figure it out. So anyway, while I'm talking, I get pinged. 
you just received the Zell, 5,000. I said, man, I'm on to something over here. Marty, what are we doing? So he says, all right, mom. He goes, I can't wait for you to come and you meet them. I said, all right. So now I don't know what I'm dealing with. This guy might be a social pit psycho. I'm Googling Marty Cohen. You ever try to Google Marty Cohen? Five million people come up and they're all rich. So I'm like thinking, I gotta find out what this guy's about. I'm trying to latch on, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, long story short, I'm like, I need security. So I got this kid from the neighborhood. He's not a trained martial artist. He don't know really even how to fight. He's not a security guard. He just looks like the guy from Full Metal Jacket. He's got that blank stare and he's got like big hands. So I'm like, I'll bring him. I'll throw a black shirt on him, and we'll go out to the fucking wedding. So I give him a fucking shirt. I give you a headache two tano can't fix. A little more mozzarella. So I have him driving. I'm in the back. We pull up to this thing. I scoped his Range Rovers, Ferraris, all this shit. I'm all pumped up. I got to find out this guy's about. I want a lot of junk. So we go into the fucking thing. All right, we get in, and, and we look, and all of a sudden, you see him. This guy's got like a comb over. He's this big. He's dressed like Benjamin Barton. He's got a pocket watch. And he's fucking arrogant. Little Mal, get on the hands. Come say hello to my nephew right now. Come take pension. So he pulls me over. The wife's gorgeous. Kids or whatever here for a fucking month. And I'm like, what's up? He goes, take a picture with them. I take the picture. The wedding's going crazy. It's like a small party. He goes, you can leave now. I say, you can leave now. What are you sick? This party's getting started. You can find an event, Mal. Private event, you think like, I'm thinking in my head, fuck that, I'm going viral. So I grabbed the goon, I said, listen, grab the video, I'm gonna fucking crash this thing. They had Hobbit and Nagila going on, and they're throwing money. I never been to nothing like this before, I'm making a stripper. I'm like this, what the fuck? We're making piles, I'm fucking trying to put money in my pocket, and they start going, Hobbit, Nagila, Hobbit. So the kids film me, I run in the middle, and I start dancing, what do you wanna do? And all of a sudden, they start biting. The bride's family and, and his family. They're broke. And this guy thinks he's Julius Caesar. He saw his fucking order and hits. Mal, grab him by his hand and throw him out. And the security guard, like, lurch, is just going like this. <laughs> I'm thinking we're getting sued. I got no insurance. We still didn't find out what this guy does for a living. I'm fucking pissed. I tell him, come on, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. On the way home, we're sitting there like, well, it's just one of them crazy stories. <laughs> Anybody here do IVF? You know what IVF is when you're trying to get a girl pregnant? Anybody know about that? I, in, in vitro? There's no fucking doctors in this crowd. No doctors? How about you guys? Nobody? Nobody? Anyway, it's the most embarrassing experience in the world. I had to do it. I couldn't get my wife knocked up. We went, you have to come in a cup. It's crazy. So they bang your insurance out, so they're doing good, you know? Like, you go in there, this thing looks like the blotcher. And it's like all cars, it's all, all seats lined up, like you're, like, and everybody's just waiting like a poor victim, like to be embarrassed. And they got cute girls working there. And they come over with the cup, and they're like, you're next, you're next, and, and it's crazy. So I'm going, I have to do it. And I got like 10 people ahead of me. And these guys are going in there for 120 seconds, right? They still put one and on. They just go in there and they jerk it over the cup. They're coming out. So I'm thinking in my head, who the fuck would do that? Wouldn't you play the role a little bit? <laughs> like, wouldn't you play the role a little bit? Like, you know, like take 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Come out like, what do you want to do? So anyway, we're waiting there. So I learned this tactic from the job. What I do is, no, I learned this on the job. Because when you're in construction, you don't want to shit in a porta potty. So you find like a Starbucks or you got like, you know, like a certain building that you've gained access to. And you know, it's embarrassing when you shit. So people, what they do is, they change, like, you know, you have like that voice changer. You ever go to like, go and it's vacant? It, it, vacant means it's taken or not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fucking rocket scientist we got in the front line. How you doing? Wait, I'm getting fucking lighted? Oh, shit, I didn't even get into my story. Oh, yeah, hurry the fuck up. So anyway, yeah, let me hurry up. So, so yeah, so what I do is, I'm in the place waiting to do the fucking IVF, but these guys, the one guy, I, I still be fuck with him. I woke up to the thing and I jiggle the door. So the guy changes his voice, you know? Like, I'm not gonna see him come out to me and say, I'll be on a minute. And then I go like, then like sometimes you got somebody like that just be quiet. That's just like, when they're quiet, that just means leave me the fuck alone, give me two minutes. But I jiggle the door more like I'm picking it. Cause I want them to do the walk of atonement when they come out. 
You know what I'm saying? I want them to be like Game of Thrones. Shame, shame, shame. So anyway, it's my chance. I go in there. I fucking watch a golf fall apart one and two. I come out. What do you want to do? Put the cup on the top. But yeah, my wife finally went into labor. It was crazy. Because I was going to be on Access Hollywood that day. I didn't know she was going into labor. You know, so I'm all pumped up. I know I'm supposed to be on. But my doctor gave me a, a pill because she says, you know, you're not sleeping. You look shot. So I, I took the pill. And as soon as I took the pill, an hour later, she wakes me up. I looked like in the, that Wolf of Wall Street with the door. She's like, yeah, I'm going to be able to do this. I don't want you with me. So anyway, we get to the hospital. I'm talking about we're going to be on Access Hollywood. You know what a duel is? Anybody know what a duel is? Fucking rocket science. I like you guys. You guys are smart. They rub your feet and shit. So they're there to take care of the girl. But I got the duel pumped up. She's a little mofe. I'm like, we're going to be on TiVo later. I mean, we're going to be on fucking Access Hollywood. We got the thing all set up. So my wife never got the epidural. She was waiting. I don't know if she was trying to be brave or something. Like, I told her, when did you get the injection? She said, I don't need it, I don't need it. All of a sudden, she starts fucking flipping out, right? Ah! Ah! Get the doctor! Get the doctor! So the fucking doctor's got his back to me. He's like, I ain't paying attention. I said, yo, Mo, my fucking wife's dying over here. Can you please help her out? He goes like this. With the needle? Hey, little Mo, give me a second. It's fucking Marty Cohen's, the doctor. And you do! Hey, pork chops, get up here before I smack you with a salami. Fuck your phone.